the day the Interface Alpha launches, we've another bonus behind the scenes for you. This week, Mod That Gym takes you on a full walkthrough of the new interface system. A few weeks ago, Mod Z and I introduced the new interface system with a few screenshots. Today, we're going to be showing a whole lot more. This is a live demo of the new interface system. The first thing you'll notice is the way we're laying out our content. Instead of things being scattered all over the screen as before, we've really focused in on different areas for different pieces of information. So navigation is all up in the top right hand corner now. This enables you to reset your camera, check your run energy and check the world map. And also a new addition is a new home teleport. So everything's there so you don't have to be looking at different areas of the screen at different times. So the new combat window, which we can see at the bottom of the screen at the moment, contains all of the ability content that we had before. Now that's coupled with your health, your adrenaline points, your prayer points and your summoning points. So you have all your combat information in one place rather than around the screen. So that gives us a really good overview of the new combat bar. But in the bottom left hand side of the screen, you can see the new social window. This brings together all of the different social interactions and gives us a little bit of insight into some of the customization we can do in the system. You can pull out different streams, swap them around, rearrange them on the screen as you see fit and also look at the different streams at the same time, something you just couldn't do before. So we can bring them all back together again to make one unique social window. Now, one of the most interesting changes is to the side stones. Now those are gone. What we have now instead is a new menu bar. The menu bar opens up our new management interfaces. These are large, colorful interfaces that bring together all of the cool content that we have in RuneScape in a much, much more friendly way. Here we can see the My Hero page. We have Adventurer's Log, my skills, my achievements, all that different content that we used to, all spread around the game. It's all now unified. Next we have My Gear, where your backpack and worn equipment can be found, along with all your statistics around your character. Now you might remember the old notice board. This has been replaced by My Adventures. What that does is bring all of the old notice board content together in a much, much more accessible form. So we have your featured content, my quests, my challenges, my mini games, and also my past, but you'll see more about that in the future. So next up we have my powers, which brings together all of the ability-based content within the game. It allows you to put together your action bar where all of the different content is easily accessible. Last thing on the menu bar is my social. My social is still very much work in progress right now, but what that's gonna do is bring together all of the different social options, social content, and extended social media information these new larger management interfaces means we can do so much more with the RuneScape content in the future and also show our existing content in a much more accessible way. But what if I want to take some of that content with me? What if I want to have it on my HUD like I do now? Well, that's one of the most exciting things with new management interfaces. We can take pieces of content from there and place them onto our HUD as we see fit. So we'll go back to my gear and we'll check out my backpack. Now, what if I want to pull that out? I can do. I grab the little brown bit at the top and I drag that out and I can pop it onto my interface. Once it's there, I can resize it, I can reshape it, and with all the content dynamically changing based on the size of your interface, it's really, really easy. We can also pop back into my gear and grab the worn equipment as well and put that onto our interface. Now we've got two, and we can play around with those as we see fit. We can move them around, we can tab them into each other, we can swap the tabs, we can have them next to each other, when we drop them onto the interfaces, they swap position, change the size, all dynamically based on what space is available to them on the interface. This is just the start of the customization. Once we press the escape key, we get to the new options menu. Now in here we have game settings, logout, stuff like that. But one of the most important things is the new edit mode. Once in edit mode, which is our advanced interface editor, we can do some really cool stuff. Like we can use these advanced options to edit the 3D world. You can move it around, you can resize it. It gives you control over the way you want the RuneScape to look and feel while you're playing the game. Next up, we have the mini game HUD. So the mini game HUD allows us to look at where some of our mini game content will appear while we're playing the game. So we can check out where the Fish Fungus HUD might appear or Castle Wars, maybe player own ports. You can check that stuff out and see where you want to position it. So you might want to have it top left or right or in the center like we've got here. The third one on the list is gameplay HUDs. Gameplay HUDs are all the different pieces of contextual content that appear while you're playing the game. So task pop-ups, task completions, loot windows, different pieces of status information, those appear while you're playing the game and these are completely customizable for you now as well. The most important of these gameplay HUDs is the game dialogue. This is where you chat with NPCs. Now, most of the time it's found in the bottom left as you can see me moving here. 
but you can move it wherever you want, and one of the favourite places for us is in the centre, helping frame the narrative of the game. I've finished all of my editing, I'm happy with my layout. Now what I can do now is save it as a preset. Once it's a preset, I can load it anytime I like. I can quick load it during combat or other skilling occasions, or I can just change it in edit mode again. Within the presets, we have classic mode. You can pop into this and it's very similar to the existing fixed window mode, so you can play the game as you play it now. We're going to set you up with a bunch of already made presets, but you're going to be able to save your own as well. Now those can be for anything, general combat, skilling, questing, socialising, PvP, exploring. All of this means you can make RuneScape your own. The most exciting thing about all of this is that from today, you're going to get to play it as well. But we really need your feedback. This is something we really haven't done before, and this is a real alpha. So get on the forums, give us your feedback, your ideas, your creativity, so we can evolve this into something that's really special. Thanks for listening. And if you're involved in the alpha, you can start testing it out from today. The community's feedback is essential to the new interface, so as you put it through its paces, don't forget to give the guys your feedback. <laughs>